All right, good morning, guys. So please share your details in the chat box. We'll start the class in a minute. All right, so I hope everyone shared your details. Is anyone missed out? So please provide me details. I hope everyone is for Azure BI. So kindly please provide your details. All right. All right, so I hope everyone is for Azure Data Factory, Azure BI. So anyone is looking for Power BI or MS BI, that will be your coming sessions. That will be provided a link to you all. So this is purely on Azure and with a combination of SQL, okay? So whatever your doubts or questions are there, please list it out. I'll clarify your doubts or questions, whatever you have, once we complete our class, okay? So we plan this class into two portion. Today we have only basic level, details level. We'll understand the BA process. Tomorrow I'll show you completely practical okay, on data factory in our complete Azure level. Okay. All right. Let me 
let's wait for another few one or two minutes So meantime, guys, please pin your details. We're going to provide you the recording in next two days recordings and the document course content to your email address, okay? So kindly provide your details. Don't miss out. All right. So before going to this uh, process, or before going to start with your Azure, so here there are many people from a non technical background. Okay. This course to be tell you anyone can go for this course. It is not particularly has to go only for the BTEC background. No, if you have a diploma, degree, engineering, whatever degree that you have, you can go for this course. Okay. So, guys, please keep your mics on mute. Any doubts or questions are there? I'll clarify once our class is complete. Okay. So I request you all, please keep the mic on. If you have any doubts or questions are there, I'll update you once the class is complete. All right, thank you all. So before starting this uh, class, like to be tell you here is prerequisite for this course is anyone can go for this course. There is no particular requisite to be have engineering or BTEC background or any other background. So for this one is purely anyone can go, any degree is required, whether it's a, whatever degree you carry, whether it's a diploma or whether it's a BTEC or engineering, you can go for this course, either it's a fresh year or experience. But if you have some level of experience, that's well and good. If you don't have experience also, you can go with uh, fresh years, okay? But here, you have both opportunities. So people who come with a non-technical background for them, I request you, even though you're working in BPO or BPS or other process, voice, non-voice, whatever, if they want to come to the IT side, it is very best way or best easy process in BA. Okay, for them, it is easy to jump to this process. So, but prerequisite for any BA tools. See, we are not programming here. We are not writing any coding here. We are just working on tool. You need to understand how this tool is work. The entire course will be on data. The data will be a different formats. It may be a structure format. It may be a semi-structure format. It may be unstructured format, whatever the format it is. Our complete work will be a data analyst, data analyst a data analysis. There is no further, there is no other option. There is no other way we do. Only on data, we do analysis. In what way analysis we do? With the tools. We have different tools in the market. I hope you people have been heard different tools. I have listed on about top, Power BI, MSBI. Again, in MSBI, we have different tools, ETL tool, reporting tools, other analysis tools, Informatica, or SAP tool we have, Cognos tools we have, okay, Tableau we call, ClickView we have. There are a lot of BI tools we have. Why only Microsoft? Because more popular tool, easy to attract, easy to work, 
non technical people also can able to easily use these tools without having any other knowledge so always when you go to the microsoft products so this microsoft product any product you take whether it's a power bi msbi azure it is a user friendly products it is a user friendly product graphical user interface more more interactive easy to understand even though there is no you don't know the sql also you can even work in the sql server by using the graphical user interface so it will more to the graphical interface even when you know the coding part also well and good so we don't do any coding here we only work under the sql only sql language is required if you go any course basic sql is required basic sql is required that is mandatory there is no hidden that is mandatory prerequisite for any course bi related course you required basic sql that is a thumb rule for any bi tools so people hide sql is not required with the drag and drop feature no it is a sql is mandatory to survive in the company also sql is mandatory you people if you know don't know sql it is very tough so basic sql i am not asking you to write a complex queries but basic sql how to select the command how to write the query how to create the tables how to drop or how to delete how to truncate this basic sql is required and i am going to tell you that basic sql whatever we required it in our regular classes so before going to this process we'll understand first it what is this tool okay anyone know what is bi process what is bi what is bi anyone know before starting this class let's understand what is the bi and what is the ba process anyone know then we'll understand what is the azure azure is very simple azure is very simple if you understand the process it is very easy tomorrow you want to switch to other tool is you can easily switch why people experience people are coming and why they are going for azure is because of cloud no because they know already tool what company will do if you are working in bpi they will they go and see what you are working at what project you are working no they will see that person id is there in that company so and so period in the 3 years of experience you work in that company or not they never disclose your project they never say what technology you are working Be people come with a bs process they go and work in the it professions only hr to hr they see whether they are there in the company with the so and so period or not that is what even though you are in a working in it with other tools people are moving to cloud what is the cloud benefit i'll tell you later the people are moving to the cloud in azure with having good experience good it experience because of salary because of other things so we need to understand that so first once you understand the process the business what is this tool will help you just learning will not solve what is the use of this tool why business companies are required this developers whether is a bi developer data analyst developer data engineering developers see whatever your background is no matter they will give based on the company's profile they'll give you designation some company they give you associate some company they give data analyst some company they give you consultant other companies depend upon experience and depend upon the technology you carry so we need to understand first the process if you don't understand the process there is no use of going for these tools we will need to understand what is business need what is company needs why they are paying lakhs of salary for these developers when there is no coding at all even though they are getting 18 lakhs 20 lakhs basic salaries 100% hike 50% hike i'll show you offer letter that is not like i'm on the fly i'm talking about i'll tell you the offer letter i'll show you the offer letter then you'll get to know the clear idea okay that will show you i'll show you in the next session all details so before proceeding this one we need to understand this prerequisites we need to understand ba process if anyone here is experienced who know what is ba process or anyone know who is already working in power bi what is ba and what is process 
what we do? Anyone here who can answer? All right, no problem. So let me take you basic today. So I'll not go much technical. I'll show you basic because there are many uh, diagrams I prepared. Okay, there are many topics we have. We'll see one by one. Before that, let's easy understand. So I'll go with basic uh, diagram, which easy can understand the BA process. Then we'll jump to the Azure. We'll understand how it is easy in the Azure. Okay, I cannot go directly to explain your Azure. Let's understand the basic process. So whenever you start any business, what business people they do? They have own mindset. They invest a lot of money on business. They want to start up some business, whatever the startup. Okay, for easy example, let's understand. They want to start with the supermarket. Okay, some supermarket business they want to start. There's the owners, the business owners, or there's some of the business background. Then they invest a lot of money on uh, some business. Okay, what do they want? They physically, they installed some infrastructure where users or customers will come to the purchase some products, right? We, what we do in the supermarket, DMART or Walmart, we go to this as a customer, we'll visit there, we purchase the products, right? We purchase the product. products, maybe anything, like it may be a gadget, it may be a, your home appliance or any other things. So what happens after that, generally, what happens when you go and purchase product, there will be, if you observe or not, in the counter level, there will be having some application. There will be having one system who do the billing, right? After purchasing product, we do the billings. And in that billing level, if you observe or not, they have the applications in the system. We never observe that. They do some barcode immediately that will affect in your system, right? That will affect on your system. And that will show you in the system level, what is that company details? What is the quantity you purchase? What was the price it is? Or what is the discount amount you're getting? What is the sales amount you have? In this all information will capture it in that system. And that application, maybe somebody's developed. Who developed? We don't know. There may be developed in the form of Java, a .NET, C Sharp, or whatever the technology they use. We don't know. And this is not our headache. This is not our headache. Whatever they develop, let them develop. So what happened? Immediately, the process is complete. When you purchase, when you do the amount build, then they'll submit the application. They'll submit the application. Okay. Once you submit, what will happen? You'll get here. So you'll get saved that information in the system. Like this, when you get a daily way, daily basis, many customers, on daily basis, they are getting many customers. It is difficult to store the single system. What they do? They connect the, here is some servers. They'll connect some servers. They connect some storages. They connect the storages here. What storage? It may be anything, live storages, storages account it may be some depending on the company to company they want to save in the files txt csv tab separated value comma separated value or excel or they have good at in databases they use some sql database mysql database oracle database or they good at clouds they go with a data lake they go with the block storages they go with the synapse database data warehouse whatever it is so depend upon the company to company if they have a budget and all they'll go it but what we want from this outcome, what we want, what user is expecting, what company owner are expecting, the moment they submit the button, this information is saved. Even though if you go 10 or 15 years back, when you go to the bank, whether it's accredited or deposited the amount in your bank, how are you going to know? You may not get some messages and all. You go with your passbook and you go to the bank and you'll make it entry, then you'll get to know, okay, you got amount. You got amount in your account by under by seeing the passbook entry, deposit, credit it, or whatever it is. You cannot see in your mobile, or you cannot see any other way, or you not get messages also in that time, 15 or 20 years back. So nowadays, what happened if you do there are multiple transactions? If you do phone pay immediately, you can go and check in your account. Immediately you'll get a message. You go Google Pay, you'll get immediately your account. What is that? Transactions, transactions. Immediately, it is affecting to your account. Transactions, that transactions we call here as OLTP transactions. In terms of language, we call OLTP transactions. Online transactions processing. 
definitely that will be saved in somewhere in databases, somewhere in servers, somewhere in this one, storages. From there, you are getting some messages. The same way here also, what is happening on daily basis, what customer it is coming. So they want to know because they want to see how much revenue is generating or not. Where on daily basis, how many customers are coming. I want counts. I want revenue. Weekly basis, how many how many counts are coming? What is the revenue we are getting on revenue? Whether we are generating the graph or not, proper revenue or not. They want to know because they invested a lot of money on business. They want to see, they want to analyze how my graph is going, whether I'm getting profit or loss. They don't know what, what you are doing back end, what technology you are using, how you are storing, what is OLTP, what is storage. They don't know anything. They will see the report and they'll take the decisions. So this is all about taking the decisions on business level, whether we need to create or whether we need to improve our business, whether we need to install again infrastructure in another location to start one more branch. So they'll take a decision. So take a decisions. There is a thumb rule we require data analyst, BI developers, data engineering developers. So without that, without having the proper data, without having, see how they'll take analysis. There is a graph again. So first we required reports, how this report will generate. You require data and the data may be different formats. Who will give you the data? We don't know. How they process the data? We don't know. So there is a one by one process we have. One by one, one by one process we have. To get the report, they'll not direct report you'll get. We required proper data, proper structured data, proper format, extractions. This all comes under the process. So to get the data earlier, again, 10 or 15 years back, there was a SQL developer more requirements. I don't know if people heard or not, there were more requirement on SQL developer. Why? We don't have BI tool process. We don't have BI process. Earlier, what we're doing, we are hiring the SQL developer. We are asking them, please go and query here and get me some result. You wait one hour of time. I'll after one hour time, I'll prepare in the Excel sheet, uh, in Excel sheet, in Excel sheet, I'll put some graph and all, and then I'll share this data manually to my clients or end users. This is what we are doing in earlier. That is what we have more requirement on SQL developer. People are learning SQL database, SQL this one. That time we have more requirement on this one. Straightforward requirement. But now my client is asking, I want last five years of data. I, my, I require different formats of data to be placed in one centralized system. Let's suppose my first I install in USA. Another day installing some UK. The system branch is installed in UK. Somewhere installed in India. In all region data, I want to be displayed in one single report. And also the five years of data, it is not possible in the live databases. In the live databases, historical data, we cannot store the historical, whatever is asking, historical data, we cannot store in the live database. The drawback with this one, the drawback with this one, when you store historical data, what is the problem? This is also storage account. This is also storage account. What is the problem then? The problem here is when you do the DML commands, DML commands are nothing but your select, insert, update, delete operations. Customer come and purchase, then that data will insert it. Customer will return the product, update, delete. So when there is a huge volume of data, it is very difficult to perform these operations. Any company max to max one week data or max to max, max to max one month data, not more than that. One month is more heavy data. I never see one month data. We mostly worked on max to max one week data. Every day we switch our data to other places. So that is the reason what we implemented, we implemented one process. We hire one BI developers. We hire, we make it process to make it business easy way, quick reporting, 
whatever the format data is, not only the structure data, whatever it may be a JSON file, XML file, parquet file, or a raw file, binary file, whatever the data, because nowadays we cannot predict. The data may come in any format. URL it is coming, REST API it is coming, the data in different formats. If I show you JSON data, you'll not understand what is the data. Binary, something is different. So whatever the data is there, I'm going to make it on BI process. I'll hire an ETL developer. He will make easy process. He will make a development for me. He will make a development for me to prepare easy format, easy process. What kind of process they'll do? So here, we're going to hire one ETL developer. That ETL developer will extract any format of data, whether it's a databases, whether it's this one, or structure, unstructure, semi-structure. He will extract the data on daily basis, on daily basis, unwanted data, logic data, whatever it is. He will make a transformations for me. And finally, he will help me to load the data. That is a huge volume of data, not only few data, it is a huge volume of data in terms in real time. I'll show you the one, one which I'm working for a company. We load huge volume of data every day, not only one day. It is not one time requirement, every day requirement, daily basis requirement, daily customers come, daily transactions come, go to the DMART, Walmart, every day customers comes. We cannot stop them. Every day they come, we get every day transactions. So that information data, we're going to store under your database or data warehouse we call. So every day transactions, we store data in your data warehouse or database. And here we store your historical data, historical data or readable data, readable data. We don't do, we don't do right. We just read the data, from, we do only analysis. So we're going to extract and we're going to load this data to this data warehouse. And from there, whatever the reporting company, reporting to they are using it, whether there is a Power BI, whether it's a Tableau, whether it's a ClickView, whether it's SSRS, whatever you are connecting it, connect, depend upon your company, project, whatever you are connecting. Instead of doing manual work, SQL developer manual work, we take this uh, query, we'll take this query and we'll place it in your Power BI reporting. What is the reporting means? Reporting is nothing but the query. Reporting is nothing but a query, a piece of queries. In a Power BI or SSRS reports, or there is a uh, Tableau report or click to whatever it is, other reporting tool. That is nothing but a piece of queries. What you do, drag and drop. And you analyze here so you'll prepare some graphs so what you are going to do you're going to extract this historical data from here and then this data you're going to share with the client directly automation process instead of doing manual work we do some more interactive reports and we send it so the problem here is when you go to the power bi or any other reporting i'm not talking about only power bi any reporting if they don't have data what is their work the question here is, if they don't have data, if we got delay, how they're going to get the data? And they cannot manage this many formats of data in their tools. So even if there is a, if you write a SQL query also, it's going to search more entire data and then it will get the result. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to search record by record, record by record. User will not wait for that time. So that is what, again, what we do, we again, we call the ETL developers. Here we required ETL developer. Here we required ETL developer. Again, we're going to tell that ETL developer, we want a quick reporting. Please help us the quick reporting with a form of data marts, in a form of data marts, or in a form of cubes or in a form of summary format. So please generate either is a tabular model, either is a multidimensional model or 
any other database which will help me for a quick reporting. Here also you required ETL developer to load the data and here also you required ETL developer to process your data or you are maintaining the summary data because customer client will only use summary format data. Client will never use which customer purchased what product. Client will only see summary data. So here also we required summary data. Here we required data marks, particular data. Let's suppose USA separate data, UK separate data, India region separate data. You call this call as data marks, particular data marks. And this here is logic inbuilt, inbuilt records. Okay, that we call as cubes. So now it will be easy to extract the data from here or from here or wherever you want, you can extract the data. So you can think how much work you have here. Why they are hiring this much of requirements on ETL development. So this is current process, end-to-end -end process to extract the data, to transform them, to make some stabilizations for quick processing, for quick reporting, easy to manage, we require BI. So just keep in this mind, wherever the business start, wherever the company start, there is a BI developer mandatory is required. There is no job like up and down, like programming or uh, like uh, software jobs, like this is not up and down. So this is based on the complete tool knowledge. If you know tool, how it works, it will be easy. So this is completely entirely we are doing in the on-premises. On-premises means physically we are installing all the things. But now we are in the cloud. Now we are in the cloud. Sir, this uh, historical data where we, uh, where we store? In the data warehouse. It is the same like database. We maintain some master tables, dimensions tables, pack so, tables. So this will be in a Power BI, Power BI only or like an SQL? No Power BI. Historical data. Power BI is not a uh, storing or some storages. Power BI is just a reporting tool, not ETL tool. It's just a reporting tool. Storage. It is not a storage tool. Power BI just get loads the data for particular reporting purpose. It not store any historical data in Power BI. Power BI just keep in blindly mind that it is just a reporting tool. It is not a storing engine. Okay. So where will they get stored, sir? So this is in database only. In database it store. We process the databases. We store the data here in historical data. That is what I'm mentioning here. Historical data. Okay. Years of data. Years of data. 10 years, 15 years. We divide them. We divide into piece of different databases, data marts we use. Because here it is very difficult. 15 years of data means millions of data you have. So that is what for quick reporting, we use ETL developer to load the data in data marts. We ask the ETL developer, please make it summary data for our reporting. We ask the ETL developer, please load the data in the cubes. Depend upon the company to company, they use data marts, cubes, summary, because if I go and directly get the reporting from here, historical data, it takes me a lot of time. And this user will not wait to open the report 10 to 15 minutes or half an hour, it will not wait. He wants immediately report to be seen, whether in our mail or whether to cloud. He wants to immediate report has to be seen. So that is what we are making ETL developer easy process. So this process, again, what we are doing, see, to start up this, we require systems, right? System is required, OS is required, Windows machines are required. Here is physical tool, physical server is required. Separate storage team is required. Separate ETL developers are required, ETL tools are required, very costly again. And uh, database SQL server is required, SQL server engine is required. It is very costly, the SQL server engine. If you go right now, you are practicing with developer edition, express edition. In real time, we use enterprise editions. That is a key based. You need to purchase from Microsoft. It is very costly again. Data marts separately, you need to manage. So these are all you have to physically, you have to purchase. So that is the reason what Microsoft released that he asked you to perform all these operations in their cloud. 
they developed one platform whatever the service you want we are going to help you you want windows machine will help you you want linux machine will help you you want you having an issue with the storages see one example if i tell you you got 250 gb of disk 250 gb of disk tomorrow the transactions are heavy it is not easy to increase from 250 to 500 it is very difficult yes we can increase external storage and all but whether that your system, your infrastructure will support or not, that is also one main important. After many approval also, if you increase 500 GP, if it is not supported, there is a lag of performance, it will be costly. But here in the cloud, no team is required, no storage team is required. You want 50 GB, I'll immediately I'll take a 50 GB. You want to decrease to 20 GB, immediately I'll decrease it, scale in and scale down. You want storages, you no need to pay lakhs of salary to this team to maintain the storage in particular temperature. You're not required to maintain a separate team. You can go for the cloud storages, machines, virtual machines. You want ETL tool, very beautiful tool is there called data factory. Whatever you want, whatever the data it is, we're going to process. You want SQL server, you no need to purchase. You no need to purchase SQL Server. We're going to provide you in the rental purpose. How much time you're using it, use it. If you go to some other places, what you do, you don't purchase the house. We stay in the rent house, right? Till our work is complete. The same way, till your project complete, we can take as a rental purpose as services. You need to pay only as you go. How much you are storing the data, you have to pay it to Microsoft. How much storage in the data you have to pay? How much you are running the systems you have to pay? If you are not running the system, you don't need to pay. If you shut down the machine, you will not need to pay. So this is all they are providing you in the platform called Azure. There's a tool called Azure, the store name called Azure in the store name in the Microsoft store called Azure, in that store, they are providing you all kinds of services. Whether it's application, storages, ETL development, or databases, everything they are providing you. And they are asking you, Microsoft, just you need to pay how much you are using it. And you no need to pay when you are not running. If you are ETL, you are not running. Every day we run. When you run, when there is a morning 9 a.m., your store will start. And it's going to close on 10 p.m. After 10 p.m. early morning, I'm going to run 5 a.m. You need to pay for that amount. Only. Otherwise, amount will not change. But in this case, whether you use or you don't use, whether you store or you don't store, you have to pay the license cost, maintenance cost, separate team cost. Did you ever observe when you are using the Gmail account? I hope you people are using Gmail account. Google Drive, right? G Drive or Google Drive, you are using it. You are storing up to 15 GB they are giving. You are storing your images, photos, documents, other stuff. Anyone observe where it is storing actually? You are acting like a cloud. You are acting like a Google Drive. You are storing photos, images, resume, whatever you are storing it. Up to 15 GB they will give you for each email account. But where they are actually storing? Did you ever observe? No, right? So they have a backend. Even though you are using the Azure also, they have a backend dedicated team is working on behalf of you. We call as data centers here. So in data center, they store your entire data. Same way on backend, you are acting like a virtually. You are acting like a just uploading the file, but backend it's stored in the data center. So that data center you can use in Azure also to store your data. So it doesn't mean if we are talking about cloud, it, it will not store in the cloud. Cloud is nothing but backend somebody is working on behalf of you. So that is what there is a more requirement on Azure for contract based. So Microsoft is a customer is getting increased. The opportunity is also getting for Microsoft. So that is what if you go for mind tree company, they mostly hire for the Microsoft on contract based because they want support. Customers are getting increased, requirements also getting increased. 
So that is, we have a more opportunity on Microsoft end. So same way, when you go to the Google, uh, when you go to the Flipkart, Amazon, what you do there? There are different customers coming together. They're selling the products. That is a platform. Here also some same platform, Microsoft related services, other related services they're giving you. You only, you need to pay how much time you're using it. So there are different categorizations. Here also we have different categorization. If you go Flipkart, Amazon, you will see products separately categorized, uh, electronic products separately. Here also we have different categorization in Azure, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, infrastructure. Namely, you can understand infrastructure where it is physically involved. So to all these cuttings, that is what we are hiring for Azure, in Azure Data Engineer, or Azure Data Engineer, or Azure BI Process, or Azure Data Factory Developer. So you can think how much the work you have under the ETL. So right now you are using the old, in all premises, we are using SSIS model, but we are using right now in cloud is Data Factory. Okay, so this is the place where we go, we just required one internet, one system to start this project. So one internet, one system, one account is required. When you have this one, you can start your project. So login to the portal.azure.com. This is the place we're going to develop our entire end to end project. No other tools are required, guys. One internet, one system, one account is required complete development we do. So there is no hidden features here. We do separately in real time separate, no like all are common portal, no separate portals. Everyone will work here only. So whatever you want, you can just collect from here. Whatever details you want, whatever you want data factory, just go and click and apply, that's it. You want a database, go and click and apply. How much GB you want, you can apply. You want storage, you can go and store it. You want data lake, you can go with data lake. Okay, so this entire project, when we talk about with the client, we don't explain this all stuff. What is a queue? What is a data mart? We, as a BA developer, we need to understand these terminologies. When we talk about with the clients, we show them high level picture. We explain in a graphical way to the clients how it will be the BA process, how we get the data, what we do after getting the data with a different format, different sources. We process them, we clean them, we make it proper visible data, and we store those data in, we hold in some data in some databases where my reporting team will extract data from there and they do processing they'll implement graphs, they'll implement some other charts, and they present this data to the this different thing. So generally to tell you here, our work is like a chef. What chef people they do? They'll cook the food, they'll prepare the food. They, if you want to prepare some chicken and all, what you generally do? You get the ingredients first, we require ingredients, that is nothing but your souls. You wash that food cleanly. Washing the food is nothing but your kind of transformations you are applying it. Making it cleanly. Unwanted things you are removing it. That is through the transformations. And what you required, you are just cooking that food. Cooking is nothing but making some understanding the food. And that food we are storing it here. What other person will do? That food he will be serving in different formats. That food, whatever we cooked, he will serve. That role is reporting role. Their role is not to prepare a food or there is not, their role is not to do the other stuff. Their work is to just process, their just work is to serve the food to the client, to the customers. Our back-end work is entire chef. If people chef is not there, your restaurant will not work. Right? So serving part, 
you also can do that is not a big problem serving part you can also do it is very simple how to do that i'll explain you that also no sir i want to only work on serving part i'll work on serving part but there is a less opportunity right now without having knowledge on preparing a food you will not get anywhere the interviews that is a problem because until unless we don't have chef to cook this food then there will be a problem so that is what our developers ba developer means etl development is compulsory is required you at least have knowledge on etl development if you don't have data then there is no use of serving the reports to the client so that is what this entire project i'm going to explain practically in the next class okay whatever the we have seen here in the diagram i'll show you the practically understand how it is easy to work we are not going to develop or we are not going to code anything we need to understand the tool how it works we need to understand the component when to use how to use in what scenario we have to use that things we have to understand first so when you don't know the process and it is very difficult to understand we need to understand what is the require what is the needs what they expecting the outcome then you can start developing it okay so process very simple opportunity is high packages are high okay i'll show you in the next class okay so i'll give you next 5 minutes doubts or questions whatever you have you people can ask me and the practically i'll show you in the next class okay